Assalamualaikum Walaikum Assalam Jarabarakatuh Dr. Zakir I am Rafia from Pakistan Professionally I am a student All Bibles I know are changed Which one should be selected to be studied well And so to be preached to non-Muslim The question posed by Rafia from Pakistan Which there are all the Bibles that have been changed Which Bible should she study to preach to non-Muslims Number one you don't require a Bible to preach to non-Muslims. What you can say, which Bible should I refer for comparative study is a different question. But you want to know which Bible should you study to preach to the non-Muslim regarding Bible? No. If your question is, which Bible should I study so that I can converse and do dawah to the non-Muslims to the Christian? Okay, no problem. But you don't have to preach the Bible to the Christians. You can use the Bible as the Quran says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 64. Kul yahal al-kitab, say people of the book. Come to common terms as been assigned you, which is the first term, Allah Nabda illallah. So when you are coming to common terms, but naturally you have to read the Bible. Or when Quran says, Kulatu Buranukum in Kundum Sadiqin, produce your proof if you speak the truth. So their proof is the Bible, Christian. So while doing dawa, no problem. But your question was that selected to be studied so that. I can preach to the non-Muslim. So if your question is Dawa, no problem, but you don't have to preach the Bible to the non-Muslim. Now coming to your question. I do agree with you that no Bible today in the world is authentic 100%. But um, there are various versions of the Bible. There are thousands of versions of the Bible. There are various different versions of the Bible. Version means the original manuscript differs. Amongst all the Bibles available, the most popular Bible is the King James Version. According to a survey done in 2023, approximately 55% of the Christians, they read the King James Version. Number one, all the Christians don't read the Bible. The few that read the Bible, among those Christians that read the Bible, 55% of the Christians, they read the King James Version. The second most popular is the New International Version, which is read by 19%. The third is the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, which is read by 7% of the Christians, those who read Bible. The fourth most popular is the New American Standard Version of the Bible, which is read by 6% of those Christians that read the Bible. And the fifth most popular is the Living Bible, which is read by 5% of those Christians who read the Bible. So the top 5 Bible is number 1, is King James Version, read by 55%. Number 2 is the New International Version, read by 19%. The third is the New Standard Version of the Bible, new, the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, which is read by 7%. Then the New American Standard Version of the Bible, which is read by 6%. And the fifth most popular is the Living Bible, read by 5%. And all the remaining Bibles, the thousand versions that they have, 8% all put together. So these five are the top five and this, that's the reason when I quote from the Bible, I quote mostly from the King James Version. Because that is the most popular, more than 50% of the Christians when they read the Bible, they read the King James Version. So I would request if you want to read the Bible for comparative study or quote the Bible to a Christian to get him closer to Islam, it is better you read the King James Version and you quote the King James Version. Hope that answers the question.